Hallo! <laughs> um, well, um, mijn naam is Nadira, mijn naam is Nadira. En um, ik wil graag iets met jullie delen. En ik zal waarschijnlijk Engels en Nederlands gaan praten, want ja, yeah, that's how I talk, that's how I do my things. Um, dus uh, raak daar niet van uh, ondersteboven. Of uh, just bear with me, oké? Okay? Um, ik, uh, ik wil graag iets delen met, uh, met jullie. Het uh, ligt op mijn hart. Er ligt al zoveel dingen op mijn hart, al maandenlang. Dus uh, ik dacht, nou, ik ga er nu echt maar gewoon even voor zitten. En uh, ik ga even het een en ander met jullie delen. Uh, nou, ik begin gewoon uh, bij A. Um, ik ga een gedicht met jullie delen en het is about the woman's word. En um, waarom ik het hier eigenlijk met jullie over wil hebben is... Um, nou, zoals jullie weten ben ik al bezig met de stem van de vrouw, um, waarin ik graag de verhalen van de vrouw um, eigenlijk een, een, een platform wil geven. En to encourage ladies, om hun te, ja, te bemoedigen, te inspireren, maar ook bewust te maken van hun identiteit, van, uh, bewust te maken van wie ze zijn en de keuzes die ze maken en hun eigen bijna zelfrespect. En uh, gisteren hadden we een, re een rehearsal en het was zo so goed, I just so enjoyed, it was so nice. Um, we hebben echt uh, een goede rehearsal gehad en ik kijk er echt naar uit naar de uitvoering van de show. En het is zo mooi en zo bemoedigend om de meiden te zien groeien en bloeien. En, uh, en waardoor ik zelf ook weer groei en bloei. En um, ja, in het begin van, de, van, de, van het hele gebeuren, um, you always wonder like, oh, am I gonna do it right? Are they gonna get what I want? Dan gaan ze het begrijpen. En, uh. Mm, maar uiteindelijk, well, you step out in faith, because you feel in your heart you have to do something. So that's what I did with the poetry and talk show, de stem van de vrouw. Dus ja, uh, yeah, 6 en 13 mei, de poetry and talk show, de stem van de vrouw in Nivel Gallery. En dus uh, hou die datum open, beschikbaar, zodat je kan komen kijken. En um, nou, waar ik het dus nu eigenlijk met jullie over wil hebben, um, mijn hart, ja, uh, um, yeah, uh, ligt echt op mijn hart om... om Vrouwen te bemoedigen en te inspireren. En de afgelopen week alleen al uh, ja, ben ik gewoon verschillende situaties tegengekomen waar mijn hart gewoon van breekt. En waarvan ik denk van, come on ladies, no, don't do this to yourself. Don't settle. Don't settle. Ja, dat is een beetje dramatisch, maar daar kwam het een beetje op neer. Um, maar waardoor mijn hart daar eigenlijk, waarom het mij zo raakte, is om... Um, it was a reminder of my own past. En um, uh, ik ga eigenlijk uh, eventjes in een, uh, in een snelversnelling uh, het een en ander vertellen about my own story. In een poem ga ik met jullie delen en daarna um, zal ik even verder met jullie praten... Um, wat mijn gedachten daarachter zijn en en how I think uh, we as ladies um, uh, yes what, who we are you know so um, it's it's important to know who we are and that we don't settle for anything less because we like God created us in His perfect image and likeness and we should be treated as royalty like yeah we shouldn't settle so um, nou eventjes snel even de situatie wat ik tegenkwam is um, ik zat in de trein, ik ging naar mijn werk en um, in, de, in de gangcabine hoorde ik uh, ja, een jongen, hij ging tekeer tegen uh, uh, zijn meisje, zijn vriendin, zijn vrouw. But really tekeer. And it wasn't like, it wasn't like, it was disrespectful. Disrespectful what he was saying to her and she was probably asking him about, uh, I think, I don't know. He did something that wasn't correct and he was disrespectful to her and she was like, she just was taking it. And it was just a reminder of like things like, mm -mm. so um, just let me share this poem with you guys, with your girls, girls, yeah, let me share this poem with you girls and hopefully it may encourage you. Okay. Once, I gave my heart away to a man who did not know how to appreciate love. At the end, he gave me back my heart, broken and full with scars. I was walking around in circles going back and forth, 
trying to put the pieces back together, but just like a mirror. Once it's broken, the scars will always be seen. Until I met my father and he decided to give me a new heart and taught me some words of wisdom. I made every woman like a queen to be treated as royalty. I gave every woman the wisdom and the knowledge to think and to teach generation after generation that a woman has the strength to stand on her own feet and not to be dependent or desperate of love from any man because love and life only comes from me. Every woman is made to be treated with dignity and respect. And not only in the beginning when things are always fun, when he spoils you with dinner by candlelight, with cards and roses, but also in those times when there is rain and storm. So to every woman, give yourself the time. Because he can be here today and try to walk away the next day. If he is worth it, he will appreciate and give you your time. And if he is the one, he should love you full time, over time, all the time. Just like my father said, you are made as a queen and should be treated as royalty. And don't settle for anything less. So this ladies, I just want to encourage you to not settle for anything less. Weet je, mm, wij, we, wij zijn geschapen, weet je, naar Gods uh, in his image. And um, there is so much more inside of us that we um, not even seen yet. And um, today I was writing, I was writing, I write morning pages every morning. Um, I think, like, ja, um, yeah, iets meer dan twaalf weken geleden um, was ik in Amerika. Toen heb ik een boek gekocht, een boek about um, how to unlock your creativity. And one of, there are two uh, head assignments, hoofdopdrachten in het boek. And one of them is um, morning pages, and the other one is the artist date. And uh, the morning pages is dat je gewoon elke ochtend, zodra je wakker wordt. Um, drie A4 pagina's moet volschrijven en um, en dat je één keer in de week jezelf uit moet nemen. Dus je moet to, je moet ja yeah, jezelf eventjes in de bad te leggen. And I'm so enjoying those moments. Maar so today I was writing and I'm feeling in my heart um, that I need to yeah I need to talk I need to encourage I need to speak up. So I was writing today and um, I wrote out this piece that I want to share with you. Okay, so think, think about yourself like this. This is, this is you. This is you, okay? Um, this is who God created you. You have no idea who you are. Like, you, we haven't even seen the best of ourselves yet. And um, God place, has placed seeds inside of us that still needs to be, like, we need to water it for it to come up, to grow up, to develop. And that's why I like the quote of Paula White. She always says, say to your, to your neighbor that's sitting next to you in church. She always says, you have no idea who you're sitting next to. And I just love that quote. You have no idea who you're sitting next to. And that's how we should look at ourselves. Like the world, the people around us, they haven't seen anything yet. They have no idea who they're sitting next to. And that's how we should look at ourselves. And... Um, the world, nobody hasn't seen the best of ourselves yet. So, mm, I know I haven't seen the best of myself yet. And there is still so much inside of me and inside of you that is growing and developing and for it to come out. And the question is, what are you uh, watering your seeds with? So, you have seeds inside of you, but what are you watering it? Um, are you water and are you watering it at all? <laughs> yeah. Are you watering it at all? And um, are you eating yourself up with toxic um, emotions, words, gossip, envy, 
bitterness and unforgiveness? Um, or are you investing in yourself um, for your soul to prosper? And for me, it is important to read the word of God, to water my soul with the scriptures. Um, and are you encouraging others? Are you motivating others? Are you building others up? Are you forgiving and letting, letting people go that are not adding to your growth? And what are you saying to yourself? What are you believing about yourself? And can you forgive yourself from your past mistakes and choices that you made? Yes. What are you saying to yourself? That's so important. I know I had a season that I was like, sometimes I was very hard on myself. And it wasn't like any, um, it wasn't beneficial for my growth, for myself. So it's important. What are we saying to ourselves? What are the words that we speak to ourselves? Um, are we allowing these negative thoughts and words inside of us? And well, my medication, my, 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 the words for me is like, <laughs> The scripture. I need the scriptures. Yes, I really need the scriptures to build myself up. And and the word of God is not boring. It's not boring. And there are always revelation after revelation after revelations in the words. Okay, so here we were. What are you saying to yourself and what are you believing about yourself? And can you forgive yourself from your past mistakes and choices that you made? And or are you blaming yourself for um, the wrong choices that you made? And how are you looking at yourself in this moment? You may not be there where you want to yet, but can you be thankful for your current situations, for your current situation? Can you be thankful with the little things? And God says, uh, be thankful with the little things and... Um, when we are thankful with the little things, then later on, he will give us more. Because if we cannot even be thankful with the little things, so how are we going to expect to have more? So we should be thankful for the little things that we have and trust God that he is going to bring us through this. And can you rejoice and stop complaining about uh, your situation if you are in a situation that you don't want to be right now? So... Um, yes, even tot hier, even tot hier, that's what I wanted to talk about, like, ladies, there is so much inside of us that we haven't even seen yet, and what are we doing, uh, what are we doing to develop that, you know, um, are we investing uh, in ourselves, in our relationship with God, um, are we giving Him space uh, to, um, yeah, to work out the gifts that he placed inside of us or are we out there going on and doing our own thing because our own will like blocks God from doing his work can we be humble can we lay down our own things and say you know God here I am take this and you let your will be done and I just want to encourage you ladies that open up and trust the Lord and um, rejoice and see the great things that he has for you um, God loves us and he only wants the best for us and that's in 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 like in in whole life in our whole life and he wants the best for us in relationships in work in our career in every area of our life God God just wants what's best for us so I just want to encourage you ladies with that. Don't settle for anything less and um, get to know yourself, you know. Take your time for yourself. Don't get all caught up in relationship or jump from one relationship into the other relationship into the other relationship because you just don't want to be alone. Just open up yourself for God. Work on your relationship with Him and let Him work through you. And... Um, see the great things and 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 and, and dreams and, and and visions that he has for you for you to prosper for you to be that woman that god created you to be because he has a plan with our lives he you we have a purpose we are not just here by accident or to take up space and this is what i want to encourage you with like i'm i'm taking my time now to um to seek for my purpose and my divine purpose 
and 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 I'm growing and I'm thankful and um and I'm trusting God like everything will come on its time. It's the right season and on its time. And that's what I want to encourage you ladies to with. En daar wil ik jullie ook mee bemoedigen. Dus dat even. <laughs> yes. So you ladies, you're wonderfully, you're perfectly made in God's perfect likeness and image. And, and, and seek him. Seek him. And let him guide you. And trust in him. Okay? And don't settle for anything less. Because you are worth God's best. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> okay. So that, that was it for today. <laughs> Ciao.